So this is the free bread we need. And we need we all is the cookie rice and the chicken. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Today we are getting it all done and to start off my to-do list, I actually make a point to make my to-do list. That way, when you complete your to-do list, you can go ahead and check something off and automatically feel accomplished. So if you feel like you're struggling to get stuff done, I really suggest giving this little bullet point a try. But first up, we are going to strip my bed and uh, replace the sheets here. I prepared them the night before and this is early in the morning before Aubrey even woke up. Then it was time to start what seemed like a million loads of laundry. And I'm actually showing you guys these clips a little out of order just so that everything is all together. I don't want laundry to appear as many times as it did for my in my day for you guys. But let me know in the comments if you would prefer to see get it all done videos like as they actually happen rather than categorized in themes. For me, I kind of like seeing both, but let me know what you guys prefer. One thing that I do when I do do laundry is uh, use my little soap container and toss it actually in the washer. And you guys will see it actually comes out clean and dry pretty much. So it's ready for the next use and you don't have to deal with all the soapy residue on the inside. And are you guys satisfied when you remove the lint from the little lint collector? I actually really like this part, especially when there's like a lot of lint to remove. Not so much when it's barely any lint there. So I've recently come up with a new way that I plan on forever folding my sheets, really just to save some space in the closet where I store them. So first up, I fold the flat sheet in half twice, just making like a smaller rectangle. And then on one end, I kind of tuck in or fold it under about maybe like a little bit less than a foot long. And then I lay the pillowcases in the center and then fold the fitted sheet, probably in a way that you've seen online where you tuck one corner into the opposite corner um, for both sides. And then I fold it up in thirds. So right here, you guys are seeing me kind of do this fold uh, just nice and slow. And this is a nice way to fold a fitted sheet, but I still kind of feel like it looks a little sloppy if you just leave it as is. So anyways, I fold it in thirds and I put it on top of the pillowcases. Then I fold the flat sheet in thirds, covering up all of the stuff in the middle and roll it up from non-folded end to folded end. And once you get to the end, you use that fold as like a way to create this pocket for the folded or rolled up sheet. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here, but it creates a nice tight, you know, <laughs> like sheet collection. I don't know how to even word it, but it looks so much better in our closet compared to the, what you see on the left, I where I would just throw the sheets in the pillowcase and shove it in the closet. So 
as I use these sheets going forward, I'm definitely folding it up this way. I think it looks a lot nicer and definitely saves space. But then we moved on and I started to clean Jack's little jumper. This used to be Aubrey's and we actually got it as like a hand-me-down from one of Juan's army friends when we were up in Washington. And Aubrey lived in this thing from like month four till she could crawl and stuff like that. So it was in storage, definitely needed a nice deep clean. And this was like, I think the first day that we really put Jack in here and let him just try the jumper. So you'll get to see him in a second, but as you guys can see, it was pretty dirty from storage. So I didn't want Jack to, you know, get all of that dirt on his hands and then therefore in his mouth. So next up, I had to call some insurance and doctor's offices and things like that just to kind of see the status of some of the issues that we had ongoing. As many of you guys know, this part gives me total anxiety, but I was happy that I was able to call and get it done and get my questions answered. Every time I try to breathe, So on this evening, I was planning on cooking some teriyaki chicken, rice, and broccoli for my parents. We were going to have them over. And as you guys will see in a bit, I pull my crock pot and rice cooker out from my island, put it right up there, and pretty much they don't move. I love how I organize my kitchen because I can just prepare everything right there, serve it from the island, and when I'm done, I just tuck it right back away. There's not a lot of like back and forth within my kitchen. So make sure to check out my kitchen organization video if you guys uh, wanna see my tips and tricks on how to organize your kitchen so that it flows really nicely. But like I said, we're doing teriyaki chicken and rice. I just kind of measured out the rice that I you know, needed early on. So it's like one less thing to worry about later if Jack is up and fussy. And then I'm just doing some sweet baby raised chicken or sweet teriyaki sauce on the chicken and throwing it in the crock pot. You'll see that I choose the 10 hour setting at 11 o'clock. We're gonna eat it in like five or six hours, but my crock pot runs super hot. Anna, the welcome to the dirty too. We just, we just are making chicken, so come at the next. But they'll come out in there and they'll be silky in there. Because everything will be warm soon and they will kill them soon. And it's really fun. So as I mentioned uh, right before Aubrey took over my my camera, my crock pot runs super hot. So this is like two hours in. The frozen chicken is already like soft. It's obviously undercooked, but it's definitely soft. The you know ice has melted. And then a little bit later, my parents were here. We were ready to eat. So I started the rice because the chicken was pretty much done. I want to say we probably could have eaten it and it would have been fully cooked at this point, but I just kind of left it in the crock pot and turned the crock pot to warm as the rice was cooking. And then when that was done, we were like, you know, definitely ready to eat. 
that I use the little steamer tray for my rice cooker to cook the frozen broccoli. I could have thrown this in the microwave, but I just kind of feel like at least if I do it this way, everything's done at once and I don't have to count backwards for the bag of broccoli. But at 4.13, which is like five hours later, the chicken was definitely done, but we ended up eating closer to five and it was delicious. Definitely want to make this meal again. Next up, I lit a lemon candle because whether or not I actually clean, I want it to smell clean in my house. So that was why I did that. Aubrey got into styrofoam, made a huge mess, but I figured it would be somewhat satisfying to vacuum up. So here are some nice vacuum lines for you guys. And then finally, it was time to clean up after dinner. I decided to do some dishes and clean the sink while I was at it. And then, as I mentioned before, I love just being able to put everything away and just, again, put the crock pot and rice cooker right back down in that island and not have to worry about, you know, hauling them back and forth. But I would really like to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope that you found it motivating and that it, you know, motivates you to get something that you need to done today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you stick around and I will catch you in the next one. What? Let's Wait. What did you set up? Look. <gasps> wow. Tell me about it. I made it at the night. When it comes at the night. And what are we calling this? Tea party game. Jump tea. Wow. You got Cheez Its and Rice Krispie treats for everyone. That is for Daddy, and this is for me, and this. What about me? Oh, you can have to do that too. Oh, okay. But I'm going to get two of this, but it's not ready. Okay. And these candies there to eat. Those are happy fruits. Only one at a day. Because I'm going to get every time when these fill up. Wow. And If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.